Okay, folks, I just want everyone to know, yes, indeed, this is Rosario Dawson. Yes. She's here at the Listen Mellon the Auditorium. Bee Gees. Yes. You're not in this with me? Uh, you're, there you are. This is what this is what it's all about. It's all just me. Don't it's all about you. At, I'm looking at tell, you. Tell, no, you're looking at, we're talking. We're, okay, talking. we're talking. There's a camera here, it doesn't it. matter. No, See, that's, that's, that's the way it works. I'm holding hey, it look. with you. <laughs> See, she's a takeover kind of person. She's a takeover kind of person. I am. We're in this together. I like strong women. This is, in fact, Rosio, Rosario Dawson. I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Absolutely. I want, I want to get, let's get to the serious stuff. Okay, we're going to get to the serious stuff, right? Let's talk about environmentalism. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you were here two weeks ago at the Naval Heritage Museum, and you were talking about Latinas, and talking about uh, minorities and green jobs and that sort yep. of thing. And turning blue collar jobs into green jobs. Right. So, what was the synopsis of that? And what should people take away from that message? Well, I think it's really important to recognize, obviously, there's a symptom. I can hold that Don't if you're even ready. think about it. Don't okay, she's it. strong. She's strong. That's right. <laughs> so, I think there's the obvious things that are really important to be recycling and composting and understanding what's going on with our landfills. Right. Everything that we could be doing, so definitely watching and looking at, the, you know, the story of stuff and stopping some of our buying and just being really aware and conscious on that level. But obviously, we need our government to be proactive in that, and we need to not just be thinking about immediate things, but long-term goals. So the idea of not, you know, Latinos not just getting jobs, but careers, and making sure that we're not just talking about sanitation and cleaning and landfills, but being the heads of companies that are going to be making, or leaders in our government that can be making legislation that would be really powerful. Okay, I'm going to turn it around so we both get light here. Okay. So we want you to look your best. I want everyone to see who you are. Now, I want to ask you again about how you manifested this in your own life. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you're going to preach it, then you have to walk the walk, right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just obvious of, like, you know, I have a Prius and all those other yeah, things. Yeah, that's a like, car, I'm very right? strong about um, just in my life with recycling and, you know, if you don't have, a, you can't afford or you don't have a toilet in your house that has, you know, off, like you know, you're flushing less water, then you can put a brick in your toilet. So like, a, like I have you know all those all simple little right? techniques. You know, right. keep your tires inflated. <laughs> don't drive really? around with stuff with junk in your trunk. We say don't drive really? around junk in your trunk because if you drive around with an overly laden car, right. like you keep the surfboard in and all that, your all your toys and <laughs> your travel stuff, and you right. drive around with that and you don't keep your tires inflated, you could you're actually costing yourself a tank of gas a year. Who as tells well you as, this? It's Who a tells lot you? of different stuff. Like I grew Who up in squat in the Lower East Side, so I also <laughs> learned a lot of things out of necessity. When you don't have, you make do. Right. But that's also the thing. It's about keeping the generational conversation going. And one of the things that we were talking about with Latinos was saying that, you know, you're coming from, you know, we have a history and a culture that supports recycling mm -hmm. and reusing and hand-me-downs. And somewhere along the way, we're like, no, throw everything away. And we need to be also, because we are in that situation where young people can talk to their parents, but we also need parents to be talking to the young people. And we need to use, we need to use technology to do that. Okay. A lot of that are is you a parent? Parents. Are you a parent? No, I'm not. I have two godchildren, though. Okay, well, fantastic. I know somebody wants to help you to become a parent. Yeah. I'm sure there's a for you people out there. But you know what? I want to just mention something to you. I've done thousands of interviews. I've never had, I've never had a speaker actually hold the laptop. Not even Soledad O'Brien did that. And she's oh, an amazing person. So uh -huh. I have to say, this is amazing precedent. I have to say, I'm totally caught off guard. I don't know what I'm saying at all that could be helpful. No, everything that you say is helpful. Thank everything you. No, but it's, it's, a, it's a very, very, very important issue. And obviously with the oil spill and everything that's going on, there's a lot that can be done volunteerism-wise. But it's really, really important to be supporting the proper energy. You know, putting that effort in with solar panels and wind energy, like we really need to make it viable. We're not going from oil and then going to coal, clean coal technology. No, no, which no, is why did I hold that for you? And nuclear I know you're strong. Energy. I know. <laughs> but you have to really, really, really be thinking about how we can really be pushing things forward. And we need people to be thinking about being the next Steve Jobs. You know, that's what we're talking about, long-term goals. Like we need to have careers and making the environment an issue that's important. It can't just be something this generation is going, oh, I have a cycle, I'm good. Yeah. This, is, this is something that's a big, big, big problem. And when you have a pile of garbage that's floating in the ocean that's twice the size of Texas, it's gonna take, we're gonna have to combat it with more than just recycling.
That's what I call a promotion.